Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out Jelly Roll. This is I Need a Favor. Let's dig in and see what's up. I only talk to God when I need a favor. Well, then you're doing it wrong, brother. <laughs> I know that's probably where the song's going, right? But I have to say that. If you're only talking to God whenever you need a favor, that you're doing the wrong thing. You should be thanking God for every single thing that goes right in your life. It attracts more right in your life. And I only pray when I ain't got a prayer. Come on. Come on. He said, I only pray when I don't have a prayer. <laughs> so who the hell am I? Who the hell am I to expect a savior? Come on. Oh, if I only talk to God when I need a favor. The drunk part, okay, but going to church court? <laughs> if you're unaware of what I do. Come on. It's tough when it's your kid, huh? <laughs> Ooh -wee. Jelly with them anthems, bro. Like, you should be continually talking to God so that when you get into this situation, you have somebody to turn to because the, the result, regardless, may not be, right? You can be the most faithful person on earth, praying to God 24-7 all the time, if every minute you're awake, and it can still take your baby. Because that was their lesson. And you've got a lesson in loss. And that is a hard thing to wrap your mind around. So you need to have God there and ready to catch you when you fall in that. Because you will fall in that. Whenever it's your time to learn the lesson of loss, you need God to be able to catch you and hold you. You need that. Trust me. <laughs> right? And so you need to get to know him now. No good, faithful, and true now. Get to know love now. Because that is who he is. He is good, faithful, true, and love. And he will hold you like you're his child. Because you're his child. Yeah, yeah, I had to break up the tension a little bit. Because this is emotional, right? Yeah, oh, you more than one and beggars can't be choosers. Come on. But I pay for all. I'm going to try to step around this as delicately as possible. If Mary ain't got nothing to do with it. Like, I get the Hail Mary. I get that. It's the last chance. I'm throwing it out there like it's the last thing. But be very aware <laughs> that that is not the name to call on. The Romans took what he said and did everything opposite. That's 
a bang. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Y'all make sure y'all get back over to my boy Jelly Roll page. Give him a like, share, and a sub. Throw him a comment and let him know you appreciate what he's doing. I saw Mrs. Realistic react to this, and so I wanted to watch her react, and I was like, I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out. I love me some jelly, but I miss all the coming. Like, my crew's not letting me know when the new ones come out, so I miss this one. I can't wait to see some more from Jelly. I can't wait to get deeper into it because... Jelly always brings a banger. Like ever, I, I have yet to see a single song from Jelly that has not brought emotion to me, right? Or that has not brought some kind of discussion out of it because Jelly is always bringing some heat. He's always bringing some truth. You should not be talking to God only when you need a favor. That is true. He's bringing awareness to that because if you're doing that, then that, that is the Hail Mary. You're, you're chasing a lost cause. You need to know God. You need to walk with Him. That's not to say that you can't drink or you can't smoke. I know that there's a whole lot of churches out here that will hit you over the head with that Bible and tell you that you're sinning left and right and doing all of these things. And for the most part, they have no clue what they're talking about. For real. They really don't. They have practiced this and preached this and went to school for this, and they don't know the book at all. And so knowing God is not going to church. Knowing God is not sitting in a pew and singing a hymn and going home. It is not giving your tithe and forgetting about what you need to do. Knowing God is seeking his face and learning what he wants for your life because he has an individual plan for your life. He has something that for you and you alone to accomplish. And you can do it or you can choose not to. That is your free will. But if you know him, he will guide you there and he will... He will be there to comfort you when things get tough. He will be there to give you joy when things go right. Because joy comes from the Lord. That is where it springs from. And it springs from God. Hope springs from God. Love springs from God. And if you have him in your life, then when you need hope, he is there. When you need joy, because everything in your life is just breaking apart and you have no idea how to stop it he is there that is the reason to know god not so that you can tell people that you went to church and not so that you can tell people that you're a christian but so that you can show through your actions that you really believe it that you really want to walk it and then god's got your back when things go wrong he will come through because the going wrong is part of the plan too I know that is a, a difficult one to hear, especially if you've got a kid in that bed, right? If your kid is sick, it is very difficult to tell you, right? Sometimes the lesson is loss. Sometimes the lesson is the sickness. You are here for an experience. You are here to help God experience the mortal coil. And part of that is loss. And part of that is sickness. Now, you get to have happy, and you get to have all of these other things that go along with it. But sometimes the sad is there, too. And you need to realize there is no getting away from the sad. Medicating yourself with alcohol is not going to do it. Medicating yourself with anything is not going to make you happy. Happiness is not a sickness. It does not hit you. It is not a target. You do not achieve it. It is a choice that you have to make in the circumstances that you are in. You can be happy and be in prison. You can be happy and be a slave. I know somebody don't like that, but that is true. It doesn't mean that it's the ideal way to live, and I definitely probably would struggle greatly with that one personally. But it's a mindset. Happiness is a choice that you make, and you need to make making that choice. The way to find it, a right, true happiness, the way to find it is through God. Talking to Him when you don't need a favor. Jelly, this was great. I absolutely appreciate every bit of this. Like, I do. The, the video was great. The music was great. 
Jelly's always bringing a banger. So y'all make sure y'all get back to Jelly's page. Give it a like, share, and sub. Throw him a comment. Let him know you appreciate what he is doing. Because I sure do. To the crew. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. You're perfect, whole, and complete. Just the way that you are. This has been Pitt State. Peace.